welcome to Web of Stories. My name is Melinda and I am here with my weekly uh, reading vlog. So as usual, I'm going to jump right into the vlog. I'll come back and do a little thing about what's going on today and then I'll go into what I finished this week and what I'm currently reading. See you in a sec. It's Saturday the 15th. We're back. We had the uh, big 90th birthday party today um, and it was nice. It just was really, really hot and um, I'm feeling a little run down. Uh, we got home, I rode for like an hour, and then uh, we ran out and got Subway for dinner. And uh, now I think I'm going to read some more because uh, I just kind of want to be horizontal. Um, normally when I read, I kind of have like, I read a little bit my each books and then my prize for, for my reward for doing all that is to read whatever my fun book is. Today I'm just reading my fun book. And my fun book is The Stone Circle, which is the Ruth Galloway, Ellie Griffiths book. Um, because it's just kind of like a nice warm hug to have that one. So that's what I'm reading today. And hopefully I will not wake up with like a huge headache tomorrow because that happens sometimes when I get like really hot during the day. So we'll see. Anywho, I'm going to get to the reading now. It's Sunday. I'm back in my closed up room. It's still hot out, although not as hot as it was yesterday. And I think it's supposed to be markedly cooler tomorrow, but cross my fingers. I um did something yesterday that... It was interesting. It worked really well for me. So as you know, if you follow me at all, I read way too many books at one time. So reading is sort of like I read a X amount of this book and then X amount of this book. And I kind of have a process that I work through in my reading throughout the day, which I'm still going to continue doing during the week. But yesterday when I got home from the party and I was really worn out because it was just really hot. Um, I just decided I'm going to read a book for fun. So I uh, finished off the Ruth Galloway book and I just read that book yesterday. And today I'm just reading Beyond That the Sea. And I think like on the weekends, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna concentrate on my fun books. I, all books are fun, but the books that aren't, it's usually I have like a primary print and a primary ebook that are sort of, I don't know. They, they're not, I'm not reading them for any challenge or book group or anything like that. So I think that that's what I'm going to start doing during the weekends because that worked really well. And I just spent a good, I don't know, hour and a half reading. Um, I'm going to move around a bit so my body doesn't atrophy. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back and read some more because that actually worked really well. Um, I'm into the second part of Beyond That the Sea, so we're after the war now. Um, and we'll see how it goes. It's, it's a good book. I'm enjoying it. And uh, that's saying a lot for a book at, that at least the first part was World War II fiction. Although the war is not really, I mean, the war is the setup. Like, there's a war going on, but she's in America, and they even say, like, yeah, there's rationing, but it doesn't even really affect them that much. So the war is just something that's kind of off in the background. The war is, this is, I, I, I would not consider this a World War II book. I would just say it's a book that's set during a time when World War II is happening, and that the, that is the device that sets up the separation of, of B from her family in London and sends her to America, which is the basis of this book. Um, so it's not a World War II book, really. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go move around a bit. Talk to you later. Hello, I'm trying this again because I just talked for three minutes before I realized I wasn't taping. So it is Tuesday, July 18th. I don't think that I did a vlog yesterday, which is fine, nothing much was going on. Um, I did finish Lubick Schbick or Schbick Lubick, which is closer to the correct pronunciation. Still probably not correct, but it's closer to the correct pronunciation than what I was saying. Um, I looked up a video to get that. And as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to record a video review of that. Um, my son's not being very quiet like I told him to. <laughs> and I also started another book. I started The Connollys of County Down by Tracy Lang. Um, this was my most recent book of the month club book and I read Tracy Lang's first book We Are the Brennans and loved it so I know a lot of people were not fond of the July I think it's July picks for um book of the month but I was so excited to see the Connellys of County Down on it so um I'm reading that uh I'm really liking it um in like the 90s Ed Burns did a few movies um like the Brothers McMullen was one of them which was about like Irish American brothers in New York so this book reminds me a lot of that, as did We Are the Brennans. A um, little more feminine take. Um, this is about two sisters and a brother. Um, and the main character is the youngest sister. But it's still sort of kind of got that feel. It's very readable. Um, I'm really enjoying it. So um, yeah, I'm not that far into it. 
All I can say at this point is that I'm really enjoying it and it has that feel. Um, otherwise, I'm still trucking along with everything else. I should finish beyond that the sea tonight. I have just like, I don't know, half an hour left of it, um, according to my Kobo. And I'm really liking that. I will probably do a video review of that one too. So, anyhow, I um, just wanted to drop in and say what I was going, what's going on in my life. Nothing much really. Uh, we're kind of in the dog days of summer. We're in the heat of summer. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know if anyone from Arizona watches this, but you guys are like, I feel for you. I hope your air conditioning is working because um, I just saw that like Phoenix had hit 110 for I don't know how many days in a row, which is like the longest ever. My father is outside of Tucson, so it's a little bit cooler there, um, but he's just camping out in his air conditioned home. I would love for him to not live there. <laughs> um, as much as I like to visit Arizona at spring break, because March is a great time to go to Arizona when you're from Oregon. <laughs> um, as much as I like visiting there in the spring, I would rather he lived up here, but you know, we're working on him slowly. Anyhow, okay, I've got some videos I need to record, so I'm gonna leave this here and uh, You'll see me in the next vlog. You'll actually see the next video I'm about to record before you see this. So, magic of YouTube timing. See you in a bit. It's um, Wednesday, July 19th, and I'm gonna show you something that's a little messy here because I'm packing stuff up, and I'm gonna be careful so I don't show anyone's addresses here, but see these, these boxes there? Those are full of banned books that I am sending out to, oh, my son's talking about something. <laughs> banned books that I am sending out to um, some little free library stewards and some angels who are going to deliver them to little free libraries in their areas, one of whom is our very own Randy Ray. And um, <laughs> I uh, finally, I meant to do this earlier and summer just got busy, but found out that I need more books in my stash <laughs> because when I divvied them all out, the, the boxes aren't as full. Like I didn't need as many boxes. So I tried to put a varied amount of, I mean, a, a good variety in each box. Although there is one that has two Toni Morrison's because I had one more Toni Morrison than I had boxes. But I don't think there's any that has more than one John Green. <laughs> Those are my two authors that I just buy the books because I know they're banned. <laughs> John Green and Toni Morrison. Um, anyway, so the kids and I are going to head off to the post office this afternoon to send those. It's very exciting. I was planning to do this like quarterly. Um, I don't think I can do it quarterly. I think I'm gonna have to do it twice a year or even just once a year, just because it takes time to accumulate enough books. And I would like to get more little free libraries involved. So, um, and I had talked about friends, she might get her church involved. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, it's kind of, I'm still doing it. I'm just, it just might change the way I do it. Anyway, I had better get these to the library before it gets, not the library, the bookstore. Not the bookstore. Oh my goodness, my mind is fried. The post office before it gets too hot. I'm also going to run by the library just to turn um, a book in, but there you go. So it is uh, Thursday the 20th. I always have to think about the day. Um, I just did a little footage. You may have just seen it. You may not have just seen it. I'm going to the little free library, but it was really hard to film because I had to do everything with one hand. And then where the sun was, I couldn't see that. I couldn't see what I was filming. So when I look at it and if it's crap, I'm just not gonna put it in. But if it's, it's, if it's okay, I'll put it in. So I picked up, I don't usually pick up books from Little Free Library, but I dropped two off. They were just books that my kids were done with. And I, I picked up two more. So I got uh, Yinka, Where's Your Husband, which is on my TBR. So um, I picked that one up. And then I haven't read Ann Tyler before, I don't think, but they had an Ann Tyler book. 
so I picked up that one. They also had the new uh, Nancy Horan book, which is uh, about the Lincolns, <sighs> which I was tempted to get. And then I remembered I didn't like her other books. She did Loving Frank, and then she did one about Robert Louis Stevenson. I didn't like her books. Um, they just weren't for me, so I left that one so someone else could have that nice, good new release. And um, I also put in a graphic novel that my son read and then a fantasy novel my daughter read. So, two for two. <laughs> um, I am in the car. The air conditioning is going. You can probably hear it because it's cooler in here. But um, I am probably going to go in and push through to finish California Golden um, by Melanie Benjamin. Um, hmm, I have thoughts about that one. And I don't think my thoughts are going to change in the last little bit, but we'll see. <sighs> I don't know. That book I had high hopes for. It, did, it hasn't been living up to it. In some ways it has, but I don't know. I'll get into it later. So, yeah. Okay, so today is Friday, the 21st of July. And uh, it is still hot here. It's hot everywhere. Except maybe in the Southern Hemisphere. I don't know. Um... Hopefully it'll be cooling down soon because I was not made for climate change. <laughs> Let's just say that. So uh, this week pretty much hasn't been that eventful. I've covered most of what went on uh, during my vlog. Um, this coming weekend, I have something fun. I'll take you along. I'll do a little vlog. That's tomorrow. And then next week, I have another fun thing, and I will take you along on that too. So there will be something fun coming up in the next vlog. This might be one of the slower vlogs. But the upside of having a less... Um, eventful week as I had more reading time. And I actually did really well with my reading this week. Um, I finished, once again, five books. One of those was a graphic novel. So um, let me go through what I finished. Um, three of them I'm not going to talk too much about because as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to record three video reviews that are coming up. And I'll tell you which ones they are. So first, I finished... The Stone Circle by Ellie Griffiths. This is number 11 in the Ruth Galloway series. Um, this is sort of my comfort, easy, fun reward for all my other reading kinds of books. Um, so yeah, this as you can tell, um, I read this. Um, I usually read these ebook. I get them out of the library, but I had this and I was going to donate it back to the library and then check out the ebook. And I put this in the pile never donated the pile so I still have it and obviously still haven't donated the pile because it's still here so there is that and then where should I put my books make my little pile down here <laughs> the next book I finished was Shabik Le... I got this right that's upside down <laughs> Shabik Lebik. I did a video review of this it's already up and so I'll put a little card up there wherever it shows up so you can see what I thought about this one I just didn't get a chance to take this back to the library yet. And then after that, I finished, the next three books are the ones I'm gonna be doing reviews of. So I'm only gonna talk about them very briefly here. But um, the next one I finished was Beyond That, The Sea by Laura Spence Ash. Um, I had been a little reluctant to pick this up because it's a World War II novel. Honestly, it's not a World War II novel. The first part happens to take place while World War II is happening, but the war doesn't really play a part in this. So if you're someone like me, who's kind of done with World War II historical fiction, um, you may still enjoy this one. I do want to clarify what I mean by when I say I'm kind of done with World War II historical fiction. There's two things in play here. One is, it is really overdone. I mean, there are so many books about World War II, historical fiction novels about World War II, that's really hard to cover new ground with it. And the second is, a lot of the books about World War II that are coming out um, almost tend to fetishize, fetishize it. Um, you know, they talk about these nice heartwarming stories and blah, 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 and oh, the strength of women, which is great. I'm all about the strength of women, but still there's a tone there that's kind of optimistic and light. And I think we're forgetting that World War II was a really, really horrendous time. Um, I'm not against reading uh, historical fiction about World War II, but it needs to be realistic and it needs to kind of confront the horrors of that period head on. So, and then the next book I finished was The Connollys of County Down, uh, which you'll um, see a review for that coming up in the next, within the next like three weeks. Uh, I can't remember when I, what I'm going to schedule this one for, but I'm going to film this 
shortly after I finish this video. But um, I will say I like this book. This is a book of a month, book of a book of the month. Um, okay, my father has great timing. <laughs> my father was calling me a book of the month book for last month. Um, a lot of people complained of that the July picks weren't very good, and I was like screaming with excitement that this was one of the books. So there you go. And then after the Connellys of County Down, I finished um, a Net Galley arc for California Golden by um, Melanie Benjamin. So that one, it's going to be published on August 8th. My, my video review will be out August 7th. Um, so I won't talk too much about it. I will just say here, it didn't live up to my expectations. You'll have to watch the rest of the video, the, the video that will be coming out on the 7th to see what I mean by that. So that is what I finished. So let's go over what I am currently reading. So I have another stack of books here. I've got stacks of books everywhere. The first book I am reading is The Red Garden by Alice Hoffman. So I've mentioned before that I am doing um, Scarlet Summer, sort of, with, with the book Cougars. I say sort of because there's like a bingo card. And part of the bingo card things, I just, like, I am not watching the Demi Moore silent movie, or not silent, the Demi Moore version of the Scarlet Letter because I've heard it is one of the worst things they've ever filmed. I'm not watching it. But so one of the parts of Scarlet Summer is in September. The book comes out in August, but in September we'll be discussing it. Um, Alice Hoffman's new book, The Invisible Hour, comes out, which has something to do with the Scarlet Letter. But it also is apparently based in the town where this book is based. So they suggested that you might want to read this one first. And this is actually a square on the bingo thing. So I'm reading The Red Garden. So far, this is sort of um, like a romp through time kind of book. But it's interesting. I like Alice Hoffman. I really like her sort of magical realism sort of take on things. And then here is a book that you've seen a lot. The Old Drift. I am still working on it. Uh, this is my book for the Women's World Cup Readathon. My country is Zambia. Um, Zambia plays at midnight tonight tomorrow morning i'm not going to be finished with this by then but that's okay um, i'm also not going to be watching the game live because i'm not getting up at midnight to watch it <laughs> but uh yeah so if zombie is playing japan if they win i'm good if they lose to japan zombie is still my country but i have to read something from japan if that makes sense i think that's how it goes i'm really i'm in the discourse group for this readathon, so I'm really hoping they, explain, they kind of walk you through it as things go on. But yes, I'm reading this right now. So this is, if I remember correctly, they said it's either like magical realism or dystopian or something. I have clearly not gotten to those parts because so far this is reading like kind of uh, epic historical fiction. You just are following these cast of characters in Zambia throughout time so far. Their lives kind of intertwine around each other and such. Um, but I am enjoying this. I am really enjoying this. Um, and I should have it done by the end of July or the beginning of August, but not in time for tonight slash tomorrow's game. <laughs> and then my other print book is for my library book club. And this is Disability Visibility. It's a collection of essays written by disabled authors, their first person stories. Um, I'm just kind of picking this up, reading a couple a day. I never read more than one in a sitting. Um, so yeah, just working my way through this one. It's really interesting. Um, some of the essays aren't really essays, but they're like transcripts of people testifying before Congress sort of thing. And those are really interesting. So um, I am enjoying this one quite a bit. Electronically, I will, will, by the time this video goes live, will be working on two books, <laughs> two eBooks. The first one is, and I have already started this one, uh, City Under One Roof. This was recommended by a lot of people, but I'm giving um, Angelia at Read and Reread the, the credit for this one because she's the one that kind of convinced me to read it. This is a thriller um, that takes place in this town in Alaska where like everybody lives in one building and the town is connected by a tunnel, which is closed for part of the year. So part of the year, like the summer, it's like all touristy. But then like the winter, everyone's just kind of stuck there and they all live in this, this apartment building. <laughs> and um, this is really bizarre, but it's giving me, it's making me feel, giving me feelings like for The Shining, which is very strange because I have neither read nor seen The Shining. So don't take that too far. That's just kind of what's in my head for some reason. Um, I don't know why. I, I've, I've never seen nor read that book. I've seen the movie nor read the book. So 
but that's kind of what's in my mind with it. Um, but yeah, so far it's, it's a standard, it's a standard thriller. Um, Angelia said that's pretty much what it is. That's what I'm expecting. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying that one. And then today, um, I will be starting Learned by Heart by Emma Donahue. That is a NetGalley arc, um, and it's her new book. And from what I understand, it's a, it's her telling of the Gentleman Jack story. And then finally on audio, I am still listening to The Scarlet Letter, part of Scarlet Summer. Um, I have read this book so many times. So this is like, this is the first time I've listened to it, but I've read this countless times. So nothing's new, but it's what I listen to when I go out on a walk and yeah, still working my way through it. I'm not that far from finishing it yet. Depending on how many walks I can take next week, it'll depend whether or not I finish it before my next update. So there's that. This is going to be a shorter vlog. and I'm sure no one's complaining about that this time. But anyway, that's what's going on with my reading. Um, if you made it this far, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do really appreciate it. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.